Most people asking me about my memory condition mistakenly refer to it as a photographic memory or an eidetic memory. I tell them, actually, I, I got something different. They ask me to explain the difference between whatever it is I do have and the stereotypical Rain Man slash Memory Man savant guy who can memorize a whole page of the phone book in two clicks of a stopwatch. Those Johnny Five dudes who can play a bona fide audience member's paperback like a flip book and get a round of rousing applause when they correctly remember the ninth word of the second sentence of the third paragraph on page 96. I, 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 I win. To answer plainly, the difference between me and one of those guys is... I ain't one of those guys. I'm just a guy who remembers times, dates, places, gas prices, and other mundane details with extreme autobiographical clarity. And I spend most of every minute of every day Remember, if one hour amounts to about the size of a fist, let's say I back burner churn through about a KFC bucket's worth per minute wherever I go. I've gathered that everyone out there on occasion remembers some embarrassing comment they made on accident one time, and they feel stupid all over again when they do. So imagine how you'd feel if that happened 90 to 100 times per minute on a good day. I live floating in an ocean of defragmented nostalgia. All my memories are the exact same size. My purchasing a pair of Nike Air Hirachis from the finish line at College Mall in Bloomington, Indiana in September of 1998, and my getting a tooth extracted in Manhattan, November of 2017, same size. I could tell you that memories of remembering memories become their own memories of equal size to the memories they contain. Therefore, the older a memory, the more I re-remember it. So my memories of Kansas loom huge. My memory of walking into a hotel lobby in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania after a flight got canceled and seeing a crowd of airline employees gathered around watching 9-11 happening in real time on a big screen television is about the same size as my memory of eating a cheeseburger so bad it made me start disliking meat and french fries with the skin still on them, both from DW Spuds and Company at Town East Square Mall in Wichita, Kansas. As I looked upward at the towering rectangular structure jutting out of the top of the circular food court, wondering what function does this monstrous tower serve? I'd never seen anything so big in my life. 